Även i år fick Chalmers och Göteborgs universitet celebert besök av inte mindre än tre färska Nobelpristagare. En av årets mest uppmärksammade prismottagare är Ahmed Usomchi, generaldirektör för OPCV, organisationen som arbetar för att utrota kemiska vapen. En stor anledning till att OPCV fick Nobels fredspris är deras pågående arbete i Syrien. Ett arbete som har försvårats rejält på grund av det pågående inbördeskriget. It's extremely dangerous actually. Um, our staff uh, were not really prepared to, to go to such conflict zones. Uh, and they are very competent, in fact experts. But they had to go some training activities before they, we deployed them to Syria. Uh, and they have done a very good job and they are very courageous as uh, we, we have seen. And when they came back after the first month, uh, I mean the first team, I asked them whether they were ready to go back if necessary. They said, of course we will do, which I really, you know, welcome. I'm very pleased. 82 procent av världens kemiska vapen har redan förstörts. Och inom några år tror OPCV att det bara finns en procent kvar. Men det finns fortfarande länder som inte skrivit under avtalet om att förstöra sina kemiska vapen, bland annat Nordkorea, Egypten och Angola. The remaining uh, six countries uh, we expect that they will take the decision to join the organization as soon as possible. Once they join, they have the obligation of course to declare everything they possess and then those weapons will have to be destroyed under the verification of our inspectors as it happens uh, at the moment with others. Our motto is in fact working together for a world free of chemical weapons and it's a feasible, it's a realistic uh, target. I think we may reach it you know, within five years, six years if uh, the re remaining countries also uh, join us. Um, and after that uh, I expect that the international community uh, is seeing that this has been so successful may try it uh, you know, elsewhere in other Uh, armed uh, disarmament, uh, in fact, um, uh, initiatives. But we want also to uh, promote the peaceful use of chemistry, and especially uh, developing countries or uh, countries whose economies are in transition. We train their uh, chemical analysts. Uh, we provide equipment to their laboratories, and um, this uh, this is very much uh, appreciated by them.